I find discussing racism with people who have a different view than me, I guess, or, or are, um, you know, perhaps, um, you know, in, um, exhibit some racist tendencies, um, very fraught business, um, and largely because I find it very hard to keep my cool, because um, I find that racism so illogical and so stupid that, um, and so offensive that I do sometimes keep, have to find it really hard to keep my, um, keep my temper. Um, but I've got a lot better at that as I've got older and, and realised that ultimately, you know, if you're in people's faces, um, you know, screaming abuse at them for their racism, then it's generally counterproductive. And ultimately what I'd like to do is convince people that their own racist views are, you know, not particularly useful and, um, you know, are probably is, are also debilitating for themselves, you know, maybe less so than the people they're directed against, but ultimately it's not a good way to be. So I'm, I'm trying these days to be a little bit more, um, I guess, dispassionate about it on the face of it. Um, I guess the strategy I use is rather than confront people with their racism is to simply say that I firmly disagree with what they're saying, that I find what they're saying offensive and uh, I prefer if they didn't say that in front of me to make the point that ultimately it's going to be very difficult for me to convince them you know, of the error of their ways but make it very clear to them that their, that their views are not welcome in, in my space and that if it comes down to it, um, I'll leave and uh, you know, I'll avoid, um, I guess, um, being in their company in the future. Um, so that's the main way I, I deal with racism, racism. I find one of the other good ways, which is I'm feeling a bit cheeky, is simply to make another racist comment straight back at them, which may reflect on their own racial group. Um, and then when they are offended by that, then I guess point out that they've just done exactly the same thing to a, uh, you know, a, a, um, you know, another racial group. Um, and, you know, I've found that sometimes effective, <laughs> sometimes it, uh, uh, it, you know, engenders some quite um, heated arguments. But, yeah, I think the thing about it is not to, um, not to become abusive in your own, um, in your own response to racism, because I think that ultimately uh, in, in a way gives the racist view some legitimacy or they, in their own mind they can rationalise some legitimacy about it and because you're being really arrogant and, and rude back to them I think. I know that's hard to do and I think it's particularly hard for my Aboriginal friends who um, I guess um, you know, have a less academic or intellectual interest in racism.